matrix multiplication. Previous videos then introduce basic matrix notation and operations and the next operation we want to look at is multiplication. Viewers should note however that there is no such thing as matrix division. There is also a warning that the results we're going to give here are by definition. They cannot be proved or derived. They are defined to be the way they are. What's the basic rule for multiplication then? And you'll see again the reminder that this is a definition, not to understand. So the basic rule is if we want the ijth value of the result, then we get it from row i of the left hand matrix and column j of the right hand matrix. So if you multiply two things together, the ij position of the result comes from the i row of the left and the jth column of the right. Now, multiplying a row on the left by a column on the right is equivalent to a sort of a dot product type of operation if anyone's done vectors before. So here's an example. You'll see on the left I've got a row A, B, C, D and on the right I've got a column E, F, G, H. And the definition of multiplication is the first element of the left hand row multiplies the first element of the right hand column. The second element of the left hand row multiplies the second element of the right hand column. The third element of the left hand row multiplies the third element of the right hand column and here you can see the fourth multiplies the fourth. So here's the result AE plus BF plus CG plus DH. And the important thing is that the viewers recognize this is a definition. So there's a caveat. Clearly, in order for this definition to work, the number of columns of the left hand matrix has got to match the number of rows of the right hand matrix, because otherwise I can't write this formula down. So if that equality does not match if the number of rows of the left does not match sorry the number of columns of the left does not match the number of rows on the right then multiplication cannot be performed and is not defined some examples then what's the result of the following so remember what we're going to do is take first against first second against second third against third so the answer is going to be 3 times minus 2 plus 3 times 6 plus 8 times 5 which will be minus 6 plus 18 plus 40. For the one at the bottom first against first, second against second, third against third, fourth against fourth and then fifth against fifth. So what we're going to get is 3 times 2 plus 1 times 3 plus 1 times 4 plus minus 2 times 0 plus 7 times 2 which will be 6 plus 3 plus 4 plus 14. What about this one then? What's the result of the following? And here you'll notice I've got two columns and three rows. So the answer is multiplication is not defined. And if somebody gives you this, you put a big red cross and say, you don't know what you're doing. So key observation, a row vector can only be multiplied onto a column vector if the two vectors are the same length the number of columns of the left-hand vector must match the number of rows of the right-hand vectors. And if they've got different dimensions, multiplication is not defined. Here's the generic formula we use then. So if A was a row vector and B was a column vector, this is what we were doing. A1, B1 plus A2, B2, all the way up to A, N, B, N. What we want next is a more general formula for matrices which aren't vectors. And here is the formula that we're going to use. So if matrix C is defined as matrix A, 
times matrix B, and we'll assume that the multiplication is defined, then you'll see the IJ of the result, so CIJ, is given by doing AI1 times B1J, AI2 times B2J, all the way up to AIN into BNJ. Now, what do you notice here? This is the key point. All the A elements always have a first index of I. So we're always taking the ith row of A and then we're counting along the columns. What about J? Can you see with the B terms, we're always taking the Jth column of B. So we're always taking the Jth column of B and then we're counting down the rows. So the IJ element of the result uses the ith row of the left-hand matrix and the jth column of the right-hand matrix, and otherwise the formula is equivalent to what we had for vectors. So rules for matrix multiplication. Assume we want to do C equals A times B. First thing is A must have the same number of columns as B has rows. So if we look at the columns of A and the rows of B, these two dimensions must be equal. Otherwise, the matrix multiplication is not defined, but that's the only requirement. Then if you look at the columns of C, which is the result, and the columns of B, you'll find that these two are equal. So the number of columns in the result matches the number of columns of B. And similarly, the number of rows in the result matches the number of rows in A. So the rows come from the left-hand matrix, the columns come from the right-hand matrix. Here's an example then. What do you notice? The left-hand matrix is 2 by 4, and the right-hand matrix is 4 by 1. So the first thing to see is the column dimension of the left-hand matrix matches the row dimension of the right-hand matrix. They're both 4. And what's the dimension of the result? It's 2 by 1. It's taken the row dimension from the left hand and the column dimension from the right hand. What about the results then? Well, the ith row of the result comes from, or should we say the first row of the result comes from the first row of A times the column of B. And you'll see I've therefore got AE plus BF plus CG plus DH. And the second row of the result came from the same vector operation. So now I get Ke plus Nf plus Mg plus Ph. Slightly more difficult example. Here, you'll see the left-hand matrix is 3 by 2. And the right-hand matrix is 2 by 4. But again, what do you notice? That the column dimension of the left-hand matrix matches the row dimension of the right-hand matrix, so multiplication is defined. And after that, if we want, for example, the 1, 2 element, I take the 1 row from the left hand, the 2 column from the right hand, and when I multiply those, I'll get AH plus BN, and what do you notice? The 1, 2 result, AH plus BN. I could do something like the 2, 4, so I could take this, the second row from the left hand, and the fourth column from the right hand, and now you're going to get CJ plus DP. And if we look at the 2, 4, what do you notice? CJ plus DP. So a problem to try. What's the result here? So first check the dimensions work. You'll see I've got 2 by 3 here, 3 by 2 here, and so the key dimensions, columns here, rows here, they match. And now, the result's going to be 2 by 2, but because of the size of my writing, I'll need a big box. So the top element here, I'm going to get 2 times minus 1, plus 5 times minus 4, plus 6 times 6. So that's done by taking that one times that one. If I do the element below, then... I'm going to get the 4, 6, 8 times that. So I'm going to get 4 times minus 1 plus 6 times minus 4 
plus 8 times 6. And I will let you fill in these other two by yourself. This example's even more complicated because you'll see I've got 2 by 3 and 3 by 4 and so my result is going to be 2 by 4. Now you'll begin to realize that this is rather tedious because it means that I've got 2 times 4 dot products to do or 8 and each of those dot products is a pain so for example if I do the second row times the third column I've got 4 times 9 plus 6 times 10 plus 8 times 12 well I can work this out but it is beginning to get tedious and one thing that will be going through your mind is that matrix multiplication is not a pen and paper exercise we need to know how it's defined we need to know how to do it but I wouldn't usually use pen and paper unless I had no choice a key observation two matrices can only be multiplied if the column dimension of the left matches the row dimension of the right. And from that observation, hopefully it's obvious to you that in general, A times B is not equal to B times A. Now that's obvious from the dimensions to start with, if either A or B are not square, but also because the implied multiplications are entirely different. Now, if you ever got AB equals BA, this is called commutativity, and it doesn't hold very often. It's very rare in general, and it's a relatively advanced topic. So in general, you should recognize this, that it's very rare for AB to equal BA. The order of multiplication is critical. And in fact, you'll see at the bottom, it's quite possible for AB to exist and BA not to exist. Here's a problem then. Compute C and D. C is given by A times B, and D is given by B times A. Well, if I look, you'll see that A is 2 by 4, and B is 3 by 2, and immediately you notice that AB is not defined, because A has got four columns, but B has only got three rows. And these two numbers are not the same, and therefore I cannot do the multiplication. However, if I look at B times A, now I'm looking at a 3 by 2 matrix multiplying a 2 by 4 matrix, and now the columns of B and the rows of A do match. So BA is defined, and you can do it. So in summary, we defined matrix multiplication and noted that multiplication is only defined if the column dimension of the left-hand matrix equals the row dimension of the right-hand matrix. The dimensions of the results are taken from the row dimension of the left-hand matrix and the column dimension of the right-hand matrix. And finally, we've noticed the existence of AB does not imply the existence of BA because the two are totally different.